time now for the Roadie Roundup as we chat about some of the headlines making the rounds this week. So let's meet our panel. Today we have Mod Logger Courtney Caligiri, PR executive Matt Blanchett, and local comedian Andrew Williams who's making people laugh where? Tonight for the Rogue Island Comedy Festival. It's happened started yesterday. Tonight I'll be at the Firehouse Theater for the 10 p.m. show. Mm -hmm. This is a BYOB venue, so hey. tickets will sell out. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready to jump right in? Yeah. Yes. Well, the weekend is here. That means a lot of people, I'm sure, will be making plans or maybe just chilling out, watching a little Netflix. And I'm sure you heard about this. They are going to soon let viewers choose their own endings to shows. They're calling it interactive TV. What are your thoughts on this? Would you even like this option or would you feel like even more stressed out by that? I think it's a cool idea. I only wish it was around 15 years ago for the Sopranos season finale. <laughs> that would have been a game changer. Um, as long as the person who picks the ending can remain anonymous and no one can come after you if they don't agree with how you chose the ending, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I'm intrigued by this. I think it's kind of a neat idea. I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of surprises. I mean, generally. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know how I'd feel about seeing both, right? Because now you kind of know mm -hmm. it's going to end either way, right? Like, yeah. you'd, I don't know. I feel like I'd want to just see how it goes and you not, not have choose pressure. to be like, oh, so it's going to be this or this. And then you don't like either and you're like, I hate this show now, right? Because you're mad. <laughs> it feels like work to me. Like, I like to just put on Netflix to unwind or just watch it and not have to think about right. it. If I mm -hmm. have to, like, be thinking and I have to make a choice now, it's like pressure and it takes the fun out of it, I think. Yeah. Well, did you ever read mm. those books as a kid? Yeah. The, the choose your own ending. If you want this to yeah. happen, go to page eight. That's no? fun, you don't though. Know <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, come yeah. on. I just like, read. Okay. I mean, I know. <laughs> all the other ones. Well, maybe depending on the show. If they don't do it for every show, choose. if it's like one show, you know, I'm okay with that. They're saying it'll start with a sci fi show called Black Mirror. Okay. <laughs> Courtney's not sold on this. <laughs> we'll, we'll move on. Uh, you are a parent. I know you're a parent, too. You no. are apparently funny. <laughs> 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 but parents are now, um, they're starting this little rivalry, this little competition online by posting photos of their children's lunch boxes <laughs> to see who can make theirs the healthiest or like the most colorful. You're already shaking your head, That's Court. sad for me because I can't post unless we're posting, like, the funny ones, you know, where you're getting a sleeve of crackers and some cheese in there. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, I, I just feel like it just starts parent wars, you know, and I think we all kind of question how well we're doing every day anyway, and then to just go on Instagram when you're just looking for fun and then you're feeling bad, like, oh, I just sent them, like... Ham and cheese, not right. like hand rolled sushi with <laughs> cucumbers and well, avocado. That and brings up a good point. How yeah. exciting it's were your school? Over yeah. the top. Yeah. I was searching these hashtags. I cannot believe these kids' lunches. Oh, you look at them, like, yeah. oh my gosh, when I was a kid, like a co the coolest lunch was a lunchable ham and cheese. Yeah. That was innovation. <laughs> I was or like, like someone who brought in something from a bakery or like oh, whose mom packed them subway. Yeah. And you're Absolutely. like, yeah, this yeah. is awesome. You know? But these little bento boxes of all this colorful, bright stuff, I love the healthy aspect. I think that's awesome. Awesome, yes. but the competition is yeah, kind of makes people feel like, who that has big. the time for that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the morning, it's a fire drill. Like, yeah. who has the time to be like <laughs> and the setting it up aren't and picky. taking? Pick, so, like, like, you might be yeah. getting all cucumbers if that's all you eat. So, how mm. creative can you be with that? Yeah. Right, <laughs> all cucumbers. I don't do that. It's a joke. <laughs> Last but not least, um, Vancouver Canucks. They're the national hockey team. They've banned players from playing Fortnite because they say it's a distraction. Good. Now that hockey season is upon us, you're, you agree with this? Well, yeah? Remember David Price for the Red Sox? Mm -hmm. He said he hurt himself. He had to miss a game because he said that his the carpal tunnel, I don't know, Stop. something. It's like, yeah, it's, that makes sense. I don't know. It's crazy. Do, what distracts you guys the most? Uh, social media. Yeah. For sure. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I have like no attention span. Like I'm supposed to be paying attention to something. I should be emailing something important, but then I go on Instagram and I'm like, oh, bento boxes. Right. <laughs> and there's my I'm afternoon. Yeah. 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 But these guys should be focused. I don't know much about sports or video games, but mm -hmm. I can't imagine that they have time to be um, playing the video games. I think they should be focused on the game right. and mm -hmm. their rehearsals or whatever happens it's a beforehand. Time suck, right? I think yeah. you just need to get your head in the game, right? Yes. And they absolutely. say Fortnite too just takes over. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The people that play it, they just it's like can't, you can't stop, you can't, can't get stop, out of it. So right. And I don't then you're know. staying up late them. and then you're tired and then you lose the game. You're a mom of, of four kids. Yeah. That is, I'm sure, is a distraction at times. Oh, being a mom? Y yes. Well, well, we don't have video games in the house. No, yet. but your, kid, like <laughs> your kids, though. Oh, I mean, yeah. as much as you want to yeah. try and maybe get something done, yeah, someone's you calling for you and, yeah. and that, I'm Hold sure. in like a million sure. different directions, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, thank you so much for chiming in today. It was great catching up with our panel.